Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard and for today's gaming video I am going I'm deciding to do a voiceover because uh, I tried to you know, I did it with Zoom originally and the audio was terrible. Um so that's why I decided to, to do a voiceover. So basically we're starting off vanilla hills of the campaign here. Uh, for the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 campaign, and we're gonna go, go to the campaign mode. Campaign mode, and if you like it, definitely subscribe below and tell me if you want me to continue these types of videos. I started off with the sandbox mode, and I said, why not do campaign? So, we're gonna start off with each episode. Each episode is for a different level. We're starting off with um, Entrepreneur, no, not Entrepreneur, the Apprentice this time, and <laughs> our goals we have to raise the park value. Twenty thousand um, dollars, and have a uh, four hundred total guests. So as you see, I started to go ahead and um, at first add some food and beverage because there's nothing in the park. So I had some bad things. I added a burger joint, and I added a drink stall um, just so people have people, something to eat and drink in this bathroom. Then I started to try to raise the park value here. By placing a merry go round and um, something for the kids, and so there's already a top spin there. And I added a fence around the merry go round, I, and, and you can change the fence, but I never really started doing that before until this um, this game. So I, I, I each new ride in queue was going I usually have a new fence. The queue for the top spin is getting too long, so I decided to extend it a little bit. So when drag out to the walkway, and then as we went over there, I stole the guest. We were like, we still basically stuck at 306 guests. Our guy was rising quickly. So I said, let me add an enterprise, a nice thrill ride for the teenagers and young adults. I put that in the corner of the park next to the top spin, kind of that thrill section over there, and I. Uh, out of the exit, and I made the queue, of course, and I changed the um, colors of the queue to blue and white, and I also add a fence eventually, here it is, adding that same style, actually it's not the same style fence, but it's, but it's kind of a tall fence to this attraction, um, I was playing around with the fences to see what they were, one of them animal enclosure, I said, oh wow, this is definitely for the wild one, um, and then we're moving along here and we're just kind of scattering the park as we're still as we're still stuck at 306 guests so that's um definitely not uh not the ideal type of thing we want to increase that to 400 and that park by 20,000 so let me i decided let's put a coaster in here and i wanted an inverted uh shuttle coaster so, I was definitely looking at custom options from 3750 and then all of a sudden the only option available was $15,000 and that was all my money. So I said, let's build an inverted shuttle coaster. And then, there you go, with the shuttle. So I had a loop. And I go into a cobra roll here. I was trying to figure out how to do the cobra roll, and realized I need to put in a half loop first, then a, a cork, a corkscrew, <laughs> then another corkscrew and a half loop, and there goes that cobra roll. And then I go up and make another loop, and then um, a spike all the way up. And then I go what I think is high enough, and then I go all the way down, and I put up the second spike, um, put it in the chain lift, and at first I wasn't letting me put the chain lift on the steep hill, but then it allowed me to, and so I fixed that, and then going all the way up, then I went to the operations to change, or uh, one to increase the cars to seven, and then I changed the operation from continual circuit to reverse power launch, but I didn't want it to be launched, I put the launch speed all the way down to seven miles per hour. Then I tested it to see if it would go through the whole track. And it's going 
up, 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 and away, and it makes it perfectly. And then all the, then it kind of, it doesn't. Some of the cars fall off the tracks when they end the test. And um, I extended that left spike a little bit, just a couple more notches to see if it would clear. By the way, sorry if this is going a little bit too fast for you guys, but definitely must be, again, must be that the zoom making it go too fast because, um, definitely going normal speed, but maybe it's just the, this editing mark voiceover. But, yeah. so I fixed it and it goes and it goes perfectly. And I put a fence again around this queue. And then I'm making the queue. All the way towards the main pathway. And then I make the ride variety with those cool yellow and pink colors as well. Then I decided I wanted to extend the uh, Enterprise Cube because it was filling up a little bit there. Then I decided to officially open or rename the ride to Supreme Screen and then officially open the ride. And then change the track colors to green yellow and blue, I believe. Yes, green, yellow, and blue. And then I want to check my park value and we did it 40,000 so now we need 400 um, guests in the park and we still have about, oh, just about 318 or so at this point. So we need 400 guests in the park. We have 40,000 park value which is amazing. We need to, to get to um, much newer, I mean 60,000. So I put in some ad campaigns. Base, uh, two of them were for the Supreme Screen, and one of them was for High Flyer. Um, and I did all the publications for college students, for kids, and the national newspaper. And then we're continuing to do that. Here's for the newspaper, and again, all four. Um, well, two of them are for the one. The, the one for the parents is for the inter or the high flyer, because that's more of a, a family poster. And the um, then I go ahead and check the park uh, value or the things. So we got the check mark. Again, the print is a 60,000 mark value, so we're at 40,000, so that's more than halfway there already. Now for the next episode, that'll be uh, much easier to do. And we just need those 400 park guests, so then just kind of waiting around for those park guests to come around. And then uh, the avatar does start to work rather quickly, though, as... Um, the guess the number starts to really rise dramatically over the next few minutes here. And we're about to take a ride on the Supreme Screen as soon as this circuit finishes. And the line is growing for this ride actually quite rapidly. Um, which is good and nice people watching. People, people are nice. See, people are buying the balloons. I also raised the price of the balloons about everything was at the minimum of a dollar and I raised the price of the burgers. A minimum of two dollars to the highest about 475 for the biggest burger a raise about 50 cents 25 50 cents about on each item and with the supreme screen about to finish its run we're about to hop on here and take it for a ride uh -uh. Because I'm surprised I didn't run out of money here. I'm still about three thousand, or by the time I finished, I had about three thousand dollars left uh, when I built the coaster, which is uh, pretty awesome. But very well, able to build an intense coaster without uh, running out of money. And here we are, Supreme Screen, waiting for it to load. And here we go, backing on up. Still getting full, almost, um, and almost completed one switchback um, in this huge 
head wash. This guy's face gets in the way. But otherwise, we're off and running. On the Cobra Roll. And now we are on the loop and then go whoop, all the way almost to the top of the spike and comes all the way back down. And then we get some great news by the time we get off this ride, or about a couple seconds after we get off this ride, as we'll almost be at our goal. And there we go, everyone who's enjoy enjoyed their ride. And um, by this point, we're about like 396 or so in terms of the park um, guest. There we go, 400, and we did it. We did it, guys. By the way, the intensity rating is very high, high, and high, and not really, the other two are high for that coaster. So now I go ahead and save my game and get ready for tomorrow. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe below. I'll be continuing with the entrepreneur tasks in the near future, the very near future. And then going out to Tycoon, then you know, if you guys like it, I'll do other career levels as well. So, as always, stay tuned, subscribe, and have a fantastic day.